uh, Hacking Arts Remix, we're gonna have an event in the spring. And so in the fall, we have um, Accelerate as part of the 100K. And in January, that'll give you funding, so $1,000 to work on that startup during the month of January. Um, and then um, in the spring, uh, we're gonna have another event that coordinates with the launch event. And so we're really excited, it's actually a new track in the 100K. So it's gonna enable you to get $15,000 for your startup if you're the winning category for the arts track, which is pretty powerful. As well as you get to present in front of everyone uh, at the 100K and potentially take home that full $100,000. So we're really excited about the breadth of programs and we want to think of this as just the start. We got the conversation started, now let's kind of take it somewhere. So um, I'm gonna leave the stage, we're gonna play some music, we're trying to get our judges to make up their mind and they will be here very shortly. Thanks everybody. long weekend uh, and we really appreciate the energy and the effort the ideas that came out of it from Friday night the kickoff all the panel and amazing content yesterday and all of your hard work for the presentations these were beautiful and they they just amazed us it was really incredible um, so we just have some quick thank yous thanks to leadership team who did wonderful and all of our volunteers thanks to our advisors um, all of our panelists, our wonderful judges, and of course, thanks to you uh, for participating and coming out. Yeah, I think we have some special thanks to give. So, uh, Anika, I think you need to come up here as our amazing MC. Yeah. And we, of course, have Desi, who's helped run all this hackathon. Um, really incredible job. It's a lot of work to organize everyone, keep everything like under control, and you guys did an amazing job. So thank you so much, and yeah. I'll pass it to you guys. And the All moment right. you've been waiting for. Well, first, um, I feel like we should have flowers. Uh, thank you so much, Michael and Liz, for an amazing event. Uh, fabulous. Woo! These guys worked nonstop and totally kept after a team of students who were all over the place and just really made sure that this event happened and was so enormous and amazing. So I'm blown away by what you guys pulled together. It's been great to be a part of it. Uh, I will second all of that, but without further ado, let's move on to what we've all been waiting for. Um, this morning we, or sorry, all last night, all of uh, today, people have been hacking away at fantastic projects across all the arts. Um, we got to see a ton of them. Um, they ranged from interactive installations to apps to um, anything that you can imagine. Um, and actually I counted, we had three different connects up here at various points, so that was cool. Um, and, and so now we're really ready to um, share uh, the findings, the results, uh, and award the prizes to the teams. So the way this is gonna work is actually um, a, a, a different judge is gonna uh, um, give out each award, and we're gonna start with the VHX prize in uh, film, TV, and virtual reality. And uh, Arthur Van Hoff is gonna award this one. Thank you. Um, well, this prize goes to uh, a team that uh, really thought about how to innovate film and make it more interactive. They showed a demo that actually worked on stage, which was great. And um, in a very interesting way, I particularly like the way the angles changed as you were looking. Um, this is the team uh, Lux, Lux Loop. Come on up. Come over here and collect your prize. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. And so, uh, can you guys hear me? Uh, Lux Loop, uh, their prize is uh, donated by VHX really generously, and they are getting um, Chromecasts for each, as well as mentorship from uh, VHX uh, for, to develop their project further. So, we're so excited. Thanks, guys. So uh, up next, we are um, awarding most creative, and uh, Sulin Chen is going to be awarding this one. I think that one's louder. Hey everyone! So for the most creative, I'm not going to leave you hanging. We um, we all loved Harlequin. So if you guys want to come up, are you guys here? Woo! 
So um, just a, a few quick uh, notes. So we, we did have a little trouble understanding the idea at first, but once we understood what it was doing, we thought it was really cool. Um, we think that it would be amazing as sort of an, to be really open and platform for a lot of different people to use. And um, I imagine that, um, you know, being able to map human poses, and I guess it's a connect to also movement perhaps, um, and finding disparate connections throughout, you know, human visual history is really interesting. And um, we would love to see you open it up to see, see what other people did. And we really thought your specific example was super interesting. So yeah, and if you, can you remind us again when we can see that? Illuminous Festival, Saturday, October 25th. It's gonna be an evening festival near Sowa, and there's gonna be an, uh, 20 to 30 artist teams uh, doing projection uh, work. Give it up for Harlequin. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and Harlequin has won the Berke uh, Berkeley Online Course donated by the Berkeley College of Music. I didn't even know you were on this team, so yeah, it was not any sort of... <laughs> so up next, we're, we are awarding the most disruptive prize, and uh, Sue Sullivan is uh, handling this one. Now, there was a lot of competition in this area for most disruptive, and we had a lot of discussion. But we are proud to give the award to Street Production Systems. Come on up. Uh, you want to come up? <laughs> come on up. <laughs> now, the reason we thought that this had the greatest potential for disruptive impact is that there is a huge trend in the arts right now for pop-up experiences, using art for activism, um, and for art for everyone. And we thought that if you thought really large about the market potential here, about professional, about large groups that are looking to go beyond their traditional venues, individual artists who are looking for public performance, and then the home audience that you could have a really disruptive um, product. So we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. So this fantastic team has won the Sonos Play One speakers. And last but not least, we have the best overall hack, and Aurora Thornhill is going to award this one. Use them in the street. So for best overall hack, we went with tomorrow is another day. Um, there's many reasons for this. Um, we thought it was uh, a delightful thing to see. You guys um, came up with a really creative concept that you were actually able to execute and present to us today. Um, we really like, thought it was very conceptually sound. Um, we really appreciated the fact that uh, you took something, there are a lot of things out there that visualize phone data, but you took it and you took it out of the digital space, which I think added an extra element of delight that um, really impressed all of us. And we would love to see you go further with it. So uh, awesome. this team has won $1,000 from founder.org. Um, we're, we're really excited to like see where they go with it. All right, that wraps up Hacking Arts 2014. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Christine Alcott in the back put pretty much everything together. Thank you so much. Our judging, judges amazing. Uh, thank you guys. AV people, camera, there's a lot involved here. Um, really amazing job everyone. We couldn't be more happy. Um, thanks guys.